Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, including like this one, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. So no intros actually in this video. And I will show you how to fix the order cannot be shipped to your location error message that customers get. And I already replied to this question a million times, but the question keeps repeating. So I got tired of replying to the same question and over and over and over. I get to make a video on whoever got the same question again can easily watch the video and fix the problem which is fixing the order cannot be shipped to the selected location or the provided location for the customers and it's very easy and simple to fix so I will go step by step in this tutorial to show you exactly how to fix the issue so your customers can easily check out and pay you the money and ship the product as well and without any more talking let's just jump to it by the way, as you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. Each video adds small customizations and the team will be completely different by the video 20 or 30. So everything here has been done tutorials. On this channel, we only do the complicated stuff. Rarely, I do videos like this if the questions keep repeating. So again, after you fix this issue using my video, check out the channel if you are a Shopify store owner. It might be a golden nugget for you. But again, I'll let you decide. So let me close this one actually. And yeah. Abandoned cart pop-up reminder. I did that in tutorials again and without using any apps So let me close this one and the first thing you're going to do is you need to navigate to the settings So simply click on settings at the bottom left corner right here and it will show you the settings on your Shopify store The next thing is click on shipping and delivery on the menu on the left page or use the search bar and simply search for shipping And you will see a lot of options in here and simply click on shipping and delivery and it will show you all the settings that has to do with shipping and delivery on your Shopify account. So first things first, you might see this message. If you saw this message right now, that means this is what's causing the issue. The first thing is you didn't set up the options for the shipping or shipping profiles for your Shopify store. And that's why your customers has been getting those message of the order cannot be shipped to the location. If you don't see this message, just follow along with this video because I will make sure to cover everything in this video so you will fix the problem 100% using my video. So the first thing we're going to do is scroll down a little bit and you will see this option right here, manage fulfillable inventory to determine your shipping profiles affect product availability. And this is a new option that has been added lately on Shopify. So simply click on it, then it will show you this prompt right here and it will show you two options. The first one is sell only within the configured shipping zones. The second one is sell from all locations to shipping zones. If you want to avoid issues in the future, make sure to select this one. If you did select this one, proceed to the next step I'm going to show you in the video and you will not get this problem anymore at all. So select the legacy option, click on save. Mine is already selected. Next thing is we need to create a custom profile for the shipping. So click on this option below the shipping option, uh, below the shipping option, create a custom profile. Click on it and it will show you the setting for the profile and simply name it international or any name. Actually, just make sure your name is something unique so you remember it later. So I mean, in my case, I'm gonna do international and after that, click on add buttons, uh, add products, sorry. Click on add products button and it will show you all the products on your Shopify store. Select the products you wanna include in the shipping uh, profile. In my case, I'm gonna select the whole pro every product on my Shopify store, then click on done. And below, you should select the fulfillment location for your Shopify store or the fulfillment location you basically use. And the next thing is add shipping zone. And this is the main issue for the error. This is why basically, uh, customers has been getting that message because of this one right here. So simply click on add shipping zone and select the zones you want to include. If you want to add different shipping zones for each location, make sure to select this one only or the specific location you want to add and create the profile. Then get back in here, do the same for the other locations in case you want to set different rates and different shipping. In my case, I'm going to select everything. By the way, you can add more locations by clicking on this button, add more countries and regions, and it will take you to the market settings in here. And by default, as you can see, I have Europe and United States. Make sure the locations that you have in here included in the shipping, make sure actually are active. If you want to add more, click on this button right here and click on create market and add the market. Just after you add it, 
make sure it's active. After you do so, get back in here, then select it. In my case, I'm gonna select everything in here, then click on done. Oh, I forgot the name. So let me do again international, then click on done, and it will create the shipping zone for it. The next thing we're going to do is add the rate, the rate for the shipping zone we did add. In my case, I did international, so every country. I'm gonna click on add rate, not every country, but basically the countries I have on the list. So in here, you need to type in the rate tape. Is it flat for every location or every order? Or if I click on it, it will say use carrier app to calculate the rates, which will use the fulfillment locations as well as the customer's location. In my case, I'm gonna do use flat rate. And below is the shipping rate custom. And below is the custom name. I'm gonna type in international rate, just so I can remember it. And below is the custom delivery description. This is optional if you wanna add it. I'm gonna add just this one made to order. And below is the price for the shipping. If you keep it zero, it will be actually free shipping. If you wanna add the shipping rate, make sure to type in in here, for example, 9.99. And if you have products that has to do with weight, like different products, one kilograms and the other one is like 100 grams, then you wanna add conditional pricing. If you click on conditional pricing, it will show you the first option is based on the item weight. The next one is based on the order price. And you can adjust these based on the products you have. In my case, I don't have it, so I'm gonna keep it same for every product, which is $10. So I'm gonna click on done. Now the last option is uh, we need to add the markets that you want to include. As you can see, it will show you here the markets that it's not included in the shipping profile that we did create right now. And as you can see, a lot of countries. So basically, every country in here in this list will not be able to proceed to the checkout and they will get the exact message that your customers got, which is this order cannot be shipped to your location. So I have to add all these countries to the market, then enable them on the profile or create a new profile. Then it will include all this profile. So everyone from these particular countries can actually order my products and be shipped to them. But actually to keep the tutorial simple, I'm not gonna add them, so I'm gonna skip on this. But for your case, make sure to include every country. Depends on your product, make sure to include the countries that you want. So any country that you see on this list will not be able to proceed and will get the same message of the order cannot be shipped. So click on save button. Now, after I click on save button, the message is gone as you can see. Now, the shipping will be working just fine for 197 products and for international, but not international, just for the countries that you saw me sell it. So if you follow along with the steps I did in the video, your customers will not get the error message of the order cannot be shipped to your location. Again, if you have any video requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide the information you need or even make a video for you. Just like this one. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.